it's a god awful call. It's absolutely terrible officiating. Uh, they should be embarrassed. But but you know, I'll get my fine. I'm sure I'll get a letter of reprimand. Uh, but at this point, somebody has to start holding the officials accountable. That call was the worst call I've seen in my 29 years of coaching. If we're going to start calling that, every foul at the end of a game when a team has to foul is intentional. Every foul is. We all know it is. But to call it in a one-point game with 2.5 seconds left, it's just it's awful. It's atrocious. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing for our league. And but you'll never we'll, we'll never hear anything about it because it's such a sacred society that we can't ever reprimand publicly an official, God forbid. But we'll reprimand coaches and players will be called out. But there's three three people out there, God forbid, if we came out and we actually said a league made a statement that it was a blown call, bad call. We we won't do that. What is up, awesome people of the internet? Well, it happened, y'all. Jeff Walls has been fined and reprimanded for speaking up against the officials following Louisville's surprise loss to Syracuse. Now, why was Jeff so upset about the call? Well, it was because of this play. It off. No. Bat it out. There's Perkins. Four to shoot. Fair gets fouled. So much going on here. Cochran had the right idea in fouling because Louisville only has two fouls in this quarter, but it's called intentional. And that that is tough. That's that's tough, guys. Instead of being assessed a regular common foul, Louisville was called for an intentional foul, which meant that Syracuse got the uh, got two free throws and got the ball back. With Louisville only winning by one point, the goal of the foul was to not, of course, get an intentional foul and, and to and to um, be able to reset their defense because uh, Louisville had some fouls to give in that scenario. So so the, so the goal was De'Asia Fair looked like she was going to draw, kind of drive into the lane and score, and to avoid that, they fouled. So that way, in their head, Syracuse takes it out of bounds, they reset their defense, they stop Syracuse, and they win the game. That, of course, didn't happen because... The team was assessed with a intentional foul, which means that the Syracuse got two shots and they got the ball back. Um, is it an intentional foul? I think it could be interpreted that way. From the letter of the law of what an intentional foul is, a play, a, um, a, a non-play on the basketball, yes, it is. It can be interpreted as an intentional foul uh, because um, there was just an attempt to wrap DH Fair up and not necessarily trying to get the ball. She 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 was kind of grabbed by the waist, and so sure, uh, you can assess that as an intentional foul. Um, but with that intentional foul, the game was basically over for Louisville because De'Aja Fair made both her, her free throws, um, and also Syracuse got the ball back. They uh, stalled, and the game was over. So let's talk about both sides on this issue. Um, I absolutely understand why Jeff Walls was upset. At this play, uh, sure, by the book, this can be interpreted as an intentional foul. But if you want to do that, okay. Basically, at the end of every game, when a team needs to foul, it's always an intentional foul. Uh, it's just never called. Um, and I watch a lot of basketball. And I rarely ever see intentional fouls called. Um, and when, you know, when there isn't a play on the basketball, uh, especially sort of late in the game. Uh, so the fact that Louisville got that call is super unfortunate for them. And I understand why Jeff Walls were so heated because this is rarely ever called that it surprised everybody. It, it seemed like it surprised everybody. It surely surprised me um, that, that that was called an intentional foul. It, I'm sure it surprised um, Syracuse as well. They, of course, they were happy about it, but but everybody was kind of surprised. Is it technically a intentional foul? Yes, it can be interpreted that way. But that call is so rarely called that it is just sort of caught people by surprise. And, and I think that that led to Jeff Walls being extremely, extremely upset at the play call. Um, now, on the other side of it, Louisville had this game. They had it. They had the, the win was probable 
for Louisville. Uh, they were the better team um, by basically all metrics. And they had multiple chance times to win this game. Multiple times. Uh, but it was a combination of terrible turnovers from Louisville, uh, missing some makeable buckets, especially late in the game, including a, a layup, um, and not, not sort of staying down on defense in that fourth quarter in particular. That all allowed Syracuse the opportunity to hang on just long enough to have an opportunity to win. Uh, yes, this was a self-inflicted loss by Louisville, um, by the way that they played. But even with that, they still had a chance to eke out a win if it wasn't for that intentional foul call. We did a lot of it to ourselves. We had two fouls to give with two points. You know, so you, you make the correct call there. Their ball sideline out of bounds. Mm -hmm. You throw it in. You got 2.5. You take a dribble. We're fouling you again. Now you're going to be at about two seconds, and it's going to be a throw up. If they make it, great. But to end it that way is horrendous. So I just told him, I said, I, I thought we did some selfish things today that I hadn't seen in the past. We took some really bad shots. Um, you know, to, for, for Kiki to turn the ball over 18 times is just unacceptable, and she knows it. Um, and then we have to make open shots. We miss shots. We miss shots. So it's just – it is what it is. I mean, golly, you just got to move on. We got a game now on Thursday, and you're going up to BC uh, to play a game. I mean, this is one where – Sure, we you know we didn't play great that fourth quarter. Missed some shots, turned it over, took some poor shots, but it it got taken from us. You know, at, at least the chance to play it out there with two point five seconds. Yeah, you can't even they recover. Yeah, shot. they may have made a shot, but at least make them make a shot because that was horrendous. Now, from the refs' perspective, again, as I said, I get why they call it the intentional foul uh, because by the book, it can be that that particular play can be interpreted as an intentional foul. This is an example of an intentional foul that is designed to negate the obvious advantageous position of the opponent. Blue 44 has a breakaway layup and is fouled from behind by White to take away the undefended high percentage scoring opportunity. This is not a legitimate attempt to make a direct play on the ball and qualifies as an intentional foul. Similarly, the fouler in the second example does not make a play on the ball and fouls the shooter from behind unnecessarily. The fact that the basket was made is inconsequential to the decision making on this play. The ruling of an intentional foul is correct and the penalty is to score the basket and then award two free throws to any player for white and award white the ball at the division line opposite the table. Sure, this is a call that is rarely called, especially in scenarios like this, uh, but as a defender, you have to know that the foul you need to make uh, needs to be a play on the ball, and you need to make sure that the refs know that. Um, and so, you know, that's un unfortunate, but maybe this is a lesson for all um, college basketball players that, hey, y'all have to have a play for the ball because there's a chance that the refs may call it. Are they likely to call it? Probably not. But they could. Uh, but I see the true problem in this uh, is that this type of call in this scenario is rarely called. Um, and it is very much by interpretation um, that it could probably uh, it probably would have been better in this in this, per, this situation if the refs wouldn't have called the intentional foul. I understand why they did. I understand why Jeff is upset. Uh, but. There's no consistency on this, um, and that and that leads to uh, situations like this where, where where Jeff and Louisville are like super super upset at the foul call at the intentional foul call, um, and because of Jeff's statements about the refs, Louisville was fined twenty thousand dollars from the ACC. Uh, the ACC has a sportsmanship pro uh, policy which states public criticism of officials or public comments evaluating the officiating. Uh, of particular contests is not in the best interest of intercollegiate athletics. Individuals associated with the athletics program are prohibited, therefore, from commenting while acting in an official capacity or officiating other on officiating other than directly to the conference office. So you heard it there. You cannot publicly criticize refs, period. 
And I get why um, they have that statement uh, because there's so much writing into uh, college basketball games that if um, if criticism of the refs is like is publicly is so high um, from the in- institutions themselves, it makes it tough for the NCAA to have credibility. However, on the counter to that, if the refs are this protected class that you can't say anything about because they're so untouchable, to me that also hurts um, the the game as well, um, and, and makes it and makes it uh, feel like it, it it could be rigged of some sort. Um, so I I I sort of get all sides of this. Um, after Jeff Walls uh, heard of the fine, he said this. I understand the league sportsmanship policy. I was just hoping to get an interpretation of the rule so I know how to proceed going forward. I was told that it was up to the discretion of the official to call a play like that, a personal foul or an intentional foul. And the determination was that it was an intentional foul. So it was the correct call. Jeff said he'll he'll sort of rethink strategy, um, saying that you just never see that called. But if that's the way it's going to be called, we'll just, we'll have to adjust. All right. So guys, that is the story for today. Let me know what you all think about the call um, in the comments below. So I want to know, first of all, would you have called that an an intentional foul? Uh, Second of all, even if it was an intentional foul, would you have called it in that particular scenario of the game? There were, there were about two seconds left in the game. Louisville was winning by one, um, uh, Syracuse had the ball. Would you, even if it was an intentional foul, would you have called it? Um, And third, what do you think about the sportsmanship rule that the ACC has basically against any sort of public criticism about the refs? And this is, yes, while Louisville is in the ACC, they were fined by the ACC, but this is a rule that uh, basically all of the conferences in the NCAA have, uh, where you, you can't really say anything about uh, the the refs publicly, or else you will get you run the risk of getting fined. Uh, so let let me know what you all th- thought about this in the comments below. Also, we are on the road to ten thousand subscribers for this channel. We are getting close to it. The goal is to hit that hit that mark before March Madness. So if you watch this video and you have not subscribed to the channel, well, why not subscribe? It only takes one second. Press that button, and you're all good to go. Also, if you have not liked this video, please hit that like button. Share this video with someone you know that wants to know about this Jeff Wall story. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Until next time, guys. Bye, y'all.